Facing anxiety. Anxiety doesn't exist. According to Archman Wright, Simeon Cryopolos, he says people create anxiety for themselves. This is based mostly on the book called May It Be Blessed by the Archman Wright. People create anxiety. They create trouble for themselves because of the wrong approach to God, because of, th of their attitude towards God. He says, we are the reason of our trials, because the trials are there to help us advance, learn and advance. Whatever others do, if we don't give in, then we will not be affected. So most of our trials are because of others doing something and because of our reactions, which he's calling give in. So our reactions are the things that make us hurt. Everything serves the person. All the trials, everything we face, the wrong approach leads us to pain. It shocks us, burdens us, puts more pressure on us, and then it creates anxiety. There are two types of anxiety in general. One of them is worrying about the others because we care about others. We love them. We don't want them to hurt. This sanctifies the person because it is based on our love for others. The second one is based on our self-love because of personal matters. Now this one eats at our soul. We worry because we don't get what we want or we fear that we are not going to get what we want. Otherwise, there's no worry. Now pressure comes from worrying about the future. He says, time is here and now. We plan for the future, but we should leave things in the hands of God. Sometimes we are hasty in doing things, and haste brings errors. Errors bring us more worry. So what we should do is just work carefully, and we should not take many assignments because that is going to cause us to work faster. Caring about the opinions of others also makes us worry. We don't want to look bad. We start thinking, what will they think about me? So that causes anxiety. More about anxiety from other sources. When we have too many things to do, this is going to cause us to worry. So we should prioritize and even cancel some of the things that are not necessary. When we don't accept what is happening around us, then we lose our satisfaction with the situation. Then we start complaining and we start to worry more about what is happening. We start worrying about possessions, worry takes in. St. Paisius says we should have less possessions, then we can live a simple life with thanks. If our faith is weak, then we start worrying about the future. Worrying in marriage, again from other sources, not from the book by the Archman Wright, Anxiety brings unexpected behavior in a marriage and it leads to doubting the other because of our fear of loss, fear of losing loved ones. This is going to lead to endless jealousy and it mixes with our love of control of the other person. This is going to lead to a lot of psychological pain built on an illusion. How should we face things according to the Archman right? 
He says the big evil is not facing things correctly. If you know that God is almighty and he is in control of everything and he has allowed it, then why should we worry? If we face everything with a spiritual understanding that this is good for us, otherwise God would not allow it, then we won't worry. Then it won't hurt us at all. And there won't be any worry or anxiety. When a person trusts God this way, there is no worry. We should learn to trust God through prayer, through spiritual struggle. That's how we learn to trust God. He says God wants to sanctify you. Because God doesn't leave anyone out of his plan. His plan for salvation. His plan for sanctifying people. God cares about us, about each one of us. Just like he cares about a saint. On the path to God, no matter how bitter the cup looks, it starts to taste sweet. When we understand what is happening and why it is happening to us and what we should learn, then the bitter cup starts to taste sweet. When you take the path to God, you start accepting where he has put you. The more you endure, the better. Because God sees your suffering and then he sanctifies you. So now you have a choice. Either you say, may it be blessed, and you leave everything in the hands of God, and you live in peace. Or you take the other path. By thinking too much, it's going to lead you to worry. I hope you benefit from this video. God bless you.